Hello there guys, it's me at Stable Voltage. Welcome back to episode 54 of Europa Universalis 4 as the Ottomans. We have just finished yet another war that France pulled us into with Austria. We have gained some more land because of it though, which is fine. We are taking some attrition over here. We don't have a leader. In fact, we're very short on leaders at the moment. So let's go and put one in charge. That extra maneuver increases the uh, force limit. So I need to make these units the right size. They need to be sort of, um, well, 14, 4, and 10 isn't even the right size either. What did I go up to to make these into 30 stacks? Let's find a 30 stack that we can compare it with. We've got one here. So 14, 4, and 12, we were building more on the artillery. So we want 14, 4, and 12. So let's take off that number. Two cavalry and the artillery. You can move down to the capital. And it's probably going to be the same thing here because we combine three units. You can split a unit in half. You just can't really split a unit very well into um, thirds. So you kind of have to do it a little bit manually. So we'll take you, move you down there, and that should be a 30 stack. We're out of manpower. We are only 21,000 men down, which is fine. Getting some conversions done, which will increase our piety as well. So let's keep doing these conversions. Now, did we take out a loan? I know we started losing a lot of money. We're still losing money, but we are reinforcing. Let's put the army maintenance down a little bit. It's not like we have the manpower to reinforce anyway. We are trying to get the next military tech, because we are behind time. We also get a 37% uh, penalty to our tech in order to adopt the institute we're actually adopting it relatively quickly now i suppose it's because some of the land we took was from uh, austria but it would still take us twelve thousand ducats to be able to do that so we will have to wait a little while before we can sort that out so if we go ahead and put this group together uh you have 10 4 and 12 did i miscalculate somewhere 16, 14. Yes, I did miscalculate. It's supposed to be 14, 14, 4, and 12. Yeah, so... Well, you've got too, too many. So let's break two off from there. And then for some reason, we're still down slightly, but we don't have the manpower, so we'll just have to wait. Again, more conversions. So let's keep them going. What's our overextension looking like? 31%. That is very, very manageable. Three stability, war exhaustion's going down, making money. Now, we did manage to culture convert uh, Venetia, so what we should be able to do now, hopefully, is build something there. Do we have the tax building there? Yes, we do. What about the trade building? 8.10. Definitely get that there, then. So that will help out. Now, then, we do have this fort, but it is out of date. Um, apparently we can't upgrade it. You need military technology 14 to upgrade to a bastion. thought we already had... Is it just because we're coring it? Because I thought we already had military technology 14. Yeah, we're on 17, um, 17. As we have the Christmas music to listen to here. Do we have any like random little armies around somewhere? No, so he must have lost a two stack somewhere. So that one is a 30 stack. That one is a 30 stack, and you are missing two infantry. No, that's fine. As you can see now, Austria is actually getting quite small. Most of this area they hold is still relatively low uh, development, because it used to belong to Hungary. And they are losing bits and pieces. They've lost some more to France. France has actually started blobbing, up, uh, blobbing out at the top here now. Also, England is pretty much gone. I think they are still in a fight with... Yeah, they're still in a war with France. So, France are about to siege out Norfolk. Derbyshire is held by rebels. And most of England is over here in Ireland. Now, they may have some colonies that we can't see. But we're certainly... Uh, Genoa's expanding quite nicely as well. Looks like a few of the miners are starting to disappear in the Holy Roman Empire. So, the, the, the most of the free cities are still around there in the middle. It certainly does look like uh, Alsace has grown a little bit. Recruitment sabotaged. Well, thanks, Austria, for, for doing that. 
So we're starting to gain manpower again, as we are. Let's go and bolster you back up to the full numbers now then. The mission that I accepted ages ago and haven't really acted on since is this one here. Yerevan, well, just basically a load of provinces that I think are all over here, are they not? Yeah. So what claims do we have? We've got claims on all of these provinces here. So these are the ones that we need to take. Now, if we were to declare a war on you, you're not allied with anybody. You've got Georgia as a vassal. So yeah, you're not allied. Got conditional military access through Georgia. So with no allies, how many troops does Kara have is the question. Military. Armies. Uh, via country, via name. It's in reverse alphabetical order for whatever reason. Kara has 15,000 troops. We can deal with that. So let's go and march over there and we'll go and get this mission sorted. We'll go and take those. We'll just probably just take the ones that we need to, to do the mission, to be honest. Uh, let's unpause the game. Let's stop making that mistake. So I'm trying to get the next military tech. There are rebel uprisings likely to pop. There's an 80% one. Amani separatists. Yeah, I do have a... Do I still have an army down here? Yeah, I've got a couple of armies down there. So they'll be able to deal with that. So let's move in here. And we want to... Let's see if we remember these provinces. So basically there's five. One, two, three, four, five. So it's the, the ones that go around the uh, wastelands there. Now, according to the mission, is that the right number? One, two, three, four, five. Yeah. And what do we get for that? Manpower recovery speed and yearly prestige. As we have a shortage of manpower, this would be an excellent time to do this. So let's go ahead and put the army maintenance back up. Uh, oh, what do we want here then? So gain some national unrest, lose some prestige, or gain some money. Because we have the personality trait greedy. That's quite interesting then. So what they've done is they've taken a mechanic that is essentially in Crusader Kings 2. Because in Crusader Kings 2, you have certain options that are only available because of a particular trait that your ruler has. That is something I actually quite like. Uh, we've got some r rebels down here. Which is fine. Um... Either way, it's going to take a while to get in there, whichever way we go. So you can go down and try and get them. Uh, this is a fort that I said I wanted to get rid of. So let's go and do that. You're being a pain again, but you're crossing back over into their land. Hopefully they'll deal with you sooner rather than later. In fact, let's leave you, let's leave you over here. Um, hopefully not in the mountains. And let's get you down here because you will be more likely to deal with them. Uh, if they come back. So that's fine. So we're at full maintenance now. Yet yeah, they still don't have any allies. Let's go and declare war. Georgia will come in of course. But we don't care about Georgia. Uh, let's say Van is the war goal. And confirm. So let's just move straight in here. Now Crimea should come in and deal with Georgia for us. Not sure where that... Oh that's their capital there in Tabriz. So we want to take one, two, three. Can't remember which one of those two it is now. We want to take some number of provinces. Most of these don't have forts. Gain piety and lose money. I think we'll lose the piety. This isn't going to be a particularly tricky war. So we'll lose the piety to gain the manpower and the extra tax. Looks like Kara's marching up there. That's fine. Makes it easier for me to go and take your capital. It won't be a long war. And it would be nice to get the money because then we can adopt the next institution. What I might also do in this war as well is take the rest of Georgia. Just just one person less to have on the map, you know. So you go up there and try and annoy Oman. That is uh, not Oman, uh, Crimea. That is fine. So we'll start taking all of these provinces. All of the ones that aren't already next to a fort. You can't get over there, can you? That is great. We've taken that back. That is fantastic. 
So you can't really get anywhere right now. I guess you could sort of backtrack and go all the way around here. Now, really, what do you think you're going to try and do with that five stack? Some conversions, some cores done. Apparently, there's no more conversions we can do right now. Oh, that was a conversion. Obviously, it was a core, not a conversion. So let's go and work on that one. Two done at the same time, nice and quick. Religious unity is still, like, overwhelmingly high. So let's go and take your capital. And then we'll go and take your capital. We'll just take everybody's capital. This is the military tech we've been waiting for. We don't have enough money to adopt the institution. Let's go and get the military tech. Let's just not even mess around. Gives us new unit types, which is new cavalry. So go ahead and take those. Uh, oh, the cannon as well. Okay, yes. So, new unit types are done. We look, take a little bit of a morale dip there, but that's all right. So, let's get in there and start sieging their capital. It should be relatively quick and easy to take. Uh, gained a CB against Austria. Well, you guys are actually sieging Crimea out quite fast. What, what's, what are Crimea's armies doing? Where are Crimea's armies, to be honest? But we should be able to get um, take the land from Georgia and all of these other provinces as well. I don't think that'll be much of a problem to do. I've already noticed at this point that a lot of their land seems to be disappearing. There we go. So let's head back over and grab that. Uh, we have some, some problems. Uh, you are all the way over there. Which is a little bit harsh. Yeah, we've got that one. Well, where was the other one then? Did the other one just sort of spawn under my feet or something? That's going to take a while to get over, but we can deal with it. We could just go up there and uh, attack that 16 stack. We might do once we've got these forts. We're already on 0% for grabbing this one. So yeah, you're just going to move around and start sieging more stuff out. I don't really care about that. Well, I do. I mean, we, we have to deal with it, and we will. Uh, we can get some more claims against um, Venice. And it's worth having them, because we never know when France is going to be too busy to actually um, help. So let's we can get a claim on Gauze as well. Every, let's, everybody can have a free-for-all claim on Gauze. So we've got all of Crimea. Let's move down here and go and siege this out. Now you've got a 17 stack there, which I'm fairly convinced I could beat in a straight up fight. You're moving down here, are you? I don't think I can actually get there because of the forts, to be honest. Oh no, we did engage them. Now we are the attacker because it's their fort, but they're just going to get wrecked, essentially. It didn't really stand a chance there. We'll try and grab that anyway. Lose some piety. But we also get reduced national unrest and reduced yearly corruption, which is very nice. Um, if you're going to stand there... Oops. No, I can't get there, unfortunately. That's a shame. I was just going to say, if you're literally just going to stand there, I will quite happily move in and just um, stack wipe you. But I can't. Let's just go to France. Make sure we continue to improve our relations here. Probably pretty high already. We also want to... Well, make sure we keep our relations improved with Crimea. We haven't done that for a while. Now, apparently we did get... Some, yeah, you've moved down there now, which is really annoying. So, we've got to go all the way back around there again. You are starting to unsiege something, but it's... I mean, it is one of the provinces that we want, but it's not a fort. So, we'll let them do it. In the meantime, we're sieging their capital. So, can we put a leader in charge of you? No, because you're in hostile territory. I thought he was going to try and attack me there, but he actually didn't, which is weird. Are you just going to sit around and try and unsiege stuff? No, you're not really bothered, are you? I think that's their only two forts, to be honest. So they're very, very soon going to be 100% um, sieged. I mean, they are trying to unsiege stuff, but... Some of these sieges could go a little bit quicker. It would be nice. I'm making some money from them. 
You're just probably going to go up and sit in that province. Oh, great. We actually got this one, which frees up my general. Uh, where was that rebellion? It's just because you've taken a province again. Can we go and deal with these guys, please? Because all of these rebellions are getting quite annoying. Yeah, Crimea has just been such an absolute terrible... Um, uh, what are they? A, a march. It's a terrible march in this game. They haven't really been useful at all. Uh, so you've managed to unoccupy that. You'd better run. You're going in there, are you? We'll just wait till your movement locked. I'll need to unpause first, of course. There you go. So we'll go and take that fight. Goodbye, George's army. Stack wiped. Let's go in there. And let's just continue to uh, siege stuff out then. New technology is Diplotech. We didn't take a Diplo idea group. We took an admin one. But yeah, we'll go ahead and take it. It is fine. So we're starting to unsiege these provinces. Still got a lot of rebellions that might pop. But we are doing a lot of religious conversions as well. Which is part of the problem. And of course, those religious conversions, each one of them increases our piety. You're moving down there now without... Hang on, we don't. We can get a leader because we're in occupied territory. Um, we can actually get a new leader. Who is not terrible, but he is a leader. He's, he's not great, but he's not terrible. I mean... And you're actually running, which is a good sign that you're really scared. And we caught you anyway. So we do get the terrain penalty. Because it is mountains. But even with mountains, we managed to win that fight. So we'll just stay there and recover a little bit more. We're at 99% war score already. Uh, really wasn't expecting to see a rebellion up there, but okay. They're going to go and turn that fort on now, but I can't get there any quicker. So let's just go and siege out the provinces that we need. I would like to go over there and take um, Dagestan. The more coast, the better. Not interested in your peace offer. Fazan still has high liberty desire. If there's any way we're ever going to make that go away. It's mostly from their development. Interactions. Change their opinion. Uh, change their liberty desire at the loss of, for loss of prestige. Yeah, we'll go ahead and do that. Makes it go away for a bit longer. Uh, we won that battle. We actually won it before they managed to siege it as well, which is good. So you've still got a few men down here that I'm not overly concerned about. But let's continue to just take all of these provinces where we can. Again, which are the ones that we actually have the... It's these ones. So we want to take all of these. We can move into there. We've got another tech we can take, which is admin tech. We are behind the time. We do have an admin tech group, an uh, admin idea group, but... We'll hold off, actually, because we can reduce the cost um, soon. If we can take a lot of money from these guys, that'd be fantastic. Obviously, we don't want them taking anything back. So I'm going to start heading up there, because I think that's what they're going to try and do. And exactly it is. But they're now having second thoughts about it. So this one will be done in a second. You come down and grab that. There's another one of their armies squished. Let's go and give this one a bit of a chase. We probably won't catch it, but we might. So recall our diplomat from France. Speaking of diplomats, how are we doing over in Venice? Uh, we still can't get another claim yet. Okay, that's fine. Uh, where are we? We're over here. Oh, you've actually managed to take one of my um, one of my forts. Congratulations. It's not going to help you. Fazan's down here now. It was a bit late to the party. Oh, it's because they had high liberty desire. That's why they weren't getting involved with the with the fight. Well, that's fine. We'll just go and try and take that back. 
I'm not interested in taking absolutely everything from them. So as soon as this is finished, let's go ahead and try to take... Well, we want to take all of Georgia. We want the coast. And we want all of the stuff that we need for the mission. Let's do this as well. So that's 58 um, overextension. Aggressive expansion is with Aman and Kara, who we don't give two hoots about. We will take as much money as they can give us, which is next to nothing. Uh, we can take war reparations from them as well. Let's send demands. So that gives us another ton of additional provinces. Get the armies together somewhere. Go and turn off that fort. Invest in a new idea. We've got a new mission we can choose. Reduce overextension. Yep, working on that one. Rebel uprisings. New technology. Now, how much would it cost us to adopt the Institute right now? 1,000... Uh, 1,948. I want to get this done. Money's easier to repay. So let's go ahead and take a loan. Okay. Uh... Oh, what do we want to do here? Pay 286 ducats to reduce the chance that um, Kenny Wilson will die by 25%. Well, we'll just do that one. Yeah, he died. Again. Sorry, Kenny. You're not having a lot of luck here. We can embrace an institution, which is what we want to do. That reduces our tech penalty. Uh, royal marriage offer from Fazan. We will accept. So now we can take this, because we don't have the penalty, which will be a lot cheaper. And that's good, because it leaves us enough left to actually go ahead and do our coring. Or, we could take the next idea group, which is yearly inflation reduction. Which I think we will go ahead and take. And then we'll start doing the coring. I know we've got a mission to reduce our overextension. Um, but I do want the inflation to go away, especially as we've just taken out another loan. The uh, We will get enough admin points to start doing that quite quickly, so that is fine. In the meantime, we'll keep doing some of these religious conversions. We're going to keep the army maintenance up because we do still have a few of these that might pop. So, uh, Yabrin is going to be the next one to pop, which is where you're all the way down there. So, let's go and march you and put you in Yabrin. And that is all we're going to do on this video. We shall continue next time. Thanks a lot for watching, guys. Hope you're still enjoying EU4 as the Ottomans. I'll see you on the next video. And until then, goodbye for now.